Ukrainian developers have created the ACE-1, an ultra-fast attack drone that can be used to destroy both airborne objects, primarily enemy reconnaissance drones, and ground targets and infrastructure. The new product was first presented at the Arms and Security Exhibition in 2021. One of the developers of the stealth drone is Volodymyr Usov, former head of the State Space Agency and now the founder of Air Combat Evolution. According to him, this drone will have an ultra-high speed of more than 1,000 km per hour, depending on conditions and low radar visibility thanks to stealth technology. The ACE-1 drone can carry up to one ton of payload, including air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles and guided aerial bombs. I will tell you more about the new Ukrainian attack drone, its technical characteristics and similarities with the US F-117 and B-2 Spirit aircraft in this video. I'm Hustler. Enjoy the viewing. The ACE-1 drone was developed by 25 well-known Ukrainian scientists and aerospace specialists, led by former Antonov CEO Oleksandr Loss and former head of the State Space Agency of Ukraine Volodymyr Usov. The best specialized enterprises of Ukraine were also involved, including engines from Ivchenko Progress and Motosich, as well as Ukrainian avionics. All the best that could be obtained from Ukrainian partners in the aerospace industry is used, as well as components from American and European companies, so the project can be called international. India and the Middle East have already shown interest in the ACE-1 drone. The technical characteristics of the invisible drone are 8 meters long, 11 meters wide, and 7.5 tons in weight. The drone is equipped with a turbojet engine, thanks to which ACE-1 can reach a maximum speed of 1,164 km per hour. At the same time, the strike drone has a radius of 1,500 km for combat missions and can climb to an altitude of 13.5 km. The maximum weight of ammunition that can be loaded onto ACE-1 is 900 kg. According to the developers, the drone will be used for strategic, tactical, and operational reconnaissance, will be able to perform assault operations in a wide range of altitudes, destroy enemy air defense, and patrol the airspace. For example, if an enemy reconnaissance drone flies into Ukraine, ACE-1, which is much faster and more powerful in all respects, will approach and destroy it. The ACE-1 can also be used to quickly move into enemy territory, complete a mission, and return to a ground station. The stealth drone can carry and use both precision-guided weapons and free-fall bombs located in two large compartments that can be used against ground and air targets. In 2021, when the ACE-1 was first demonstrated to the public, the developers said that it would take about 30 months, or almost three years, to produce a finished prototype that could be launched into the sky. Given that it is already 2024, these three years have already passed, and this drone should be completely ready. But not everything is so clear. The truth is that Ukraine has not yet allocated any funds for the project, and the design work is financed by the developers themselves and private investment, including from abroad. Therefore, it is not yet known whether the ACE-1 will be mass-produced in Ukraine or whether the patent will be sold to another country. The preliminary cost of one complex of several aircraft, probably three, and a ground control station is estimated at 12 to 13 million dollars. These drones are similar in shape and characteristics to the American F-117 and the newer B-2 Spirit, which were also developed using stealth technology and are invisible to radar. Of course, the size of manned aircraft is much larger than the unmanned ACE-1 developed by Ukrainian designers. If we look at the F-117, its length is 20 meters, width is 13 meters, height is almost 4 meters, and the weight of such a fighter with ammunition is 21 tons. The F-117, also known as the Nighthawk, is a single-seat subsonic tactical stealth attack aircraft manufactured by Lockheed Martin. It is designed to covertly penetrate enemy air defense systems and attack strategically important ground-based military infrastructure, such as missile bases, airfields, and command and control centers. Powered by two General Electric F-404 turbojet engines, the F-117 has a maximum speed of 993 km per hour and a maximum range of 1,720 km. 
Development of the aircraft began in 1975 during the so-called Cold War. The project was codenamed Harvey. The American designers were tasked with developing a fighter with a small effective scattering area that could overcome Soviet air defense systems. The first flight of the F-117 took place on June 18, 1981, and in October 1983, it was adopted by the US military. A total of 64 F-117s were produced. They took part in the American invasion of Panama in 1989, the 1991 Gulf War, and NATO's war against Yugoslavia in 1999. It was in Yugoslavia, 40 kilometers from Belgrade, that the Serbian army managed to shoot down one F-117 on March 27, 1999. Lieutenant Colonel Dale Zelko, who was flying the plane, managed to eject and was evacuated by a search and rescue team. According to the generally accepted version, the F-117 was shot down by a S-125 anti-aircraft missile system. This is the only known case of the loss of this type of aircraft in all the years of their operation. The US Air Force was going to use the F-117 at least until 2018. However, the lack of money for the purchase of new F-22 multi-role fighters forced the process of decommissioning the Nighthawk much earlier. This was officially announced in the fall of 2006, the same year the pilot training school was closed. Although the F-117S have been decommissioned, they continue to be used by the US Army, albeit in military exercises as enemy aircraft. The F-117 was replaced in the US Army by the B-2 Spirit, an American stealthy strategic bomber built according to the flying wing design. It is designed to break through the enemy's dense air defense and deliver conventional or nuclear bombs to a specified target. The development of the heavy bomber began in 1979, when Ronald Reagan promised to restore the military potential of the US armed forces during his election campaign. The B-2 was first shown to the public on November 22, 1988, at the Palmdale, California plant where it was assembled. The first public flight took place on July 17, 1989. To ensure stealth, the aircraft is widely equipped with stealth technologies. It is also covered with radio-absorbing materials, and the engine jets are shielded. The B-2 Spirit Bomber is the most expensive aircraft in the world, probably the most expensive aircraft in the history of aviation. As of 1998, the cost of a single B-2 was $2.1 billion dollars, and the cost of the entire program, which includes the development and production of 21 such aircraft, is estimated at nearly $45 billion. The US Air Force initially planned to order 132 B-2 Spirit aircraft, but the end of the Cold War and the corresponding reduction in funding forced it to reduce this number first to 75 units and then to 21 aircraft. This number included a prototype, five pre-production aircraft, and 15 production. The first case of combat use of the B-2 was recorded during the NATO operation in Yugoslavia in 1999. It also took part in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, and in 2017, two B-2s struck Islamists in Libya, dropping almost 50 tons of guided bombs. The last combat mission of this aircraft was performed on January 12, 2024, when the United States of America, together with the United Kingdom, launched cruise missiles and bombs on the territory of Yemen. Technical characteristics of the B-2 Spirit Bomber Length, 21 meters Width, 52 meters And height, 5 meters The empty weight is 72 tons the maximum takeoff weight is 171 tons, which means that the aircraft can carry up to 100 tons of cargo, although most of this weight is fuel, 73 tons with full tanks. The remaining 27 tons are for ammunition. The aircraft is powered by four General Electric F-118 turbojet engines, two on each wing. To reduce radar visibility, the engine nozzles were designed to be flat. The B-2 Spirit has a maximum speed of 1,100 km per hour and a maximum range of 11,100 km. The maximum altitude at which the bomber can fly is 15 km. The aircrew consists of two people. The B-2 Spirit has undergone several modernizations throughout its service life. For example, 
In 2008, the US Congress funded a program to improve weapon control systems to engage moving ground targets. In the same year, a contract was signed to modernize the aircraft's radar systems, which were switched to a different frequency band. In 2012, tests of the B-2 Spirit with upgraded software, navigation and communication systems were completed. A number of flights were made to the North Pole and back to test the modernized bomber's ability to fly at high altitude in harsh climatic conditions. On August 25th, 2022, the B-2 Spirit fleet was successfully upgraded to include the ability to use JSSM-R cruise missiles, B-61 nuclear bombs, and a new radar-guided targeting system. Thank you friends, subscribe to the channel to keep up with the latest developments. This video was prepared by Hustler, see you soon.